Welcome to the Rustic Garden. This is my second video for 2016 and it's the day after Thanksgiving and I talked about my first video. I'm starting off the 2016 series with really how do I prepare my beds towards the end of 2015. In the first video I showed you how to use hardwood ash to uh, bring uh, potassium, calcium, and magnesium and trace elements to your garden and that's already in there. You can check out that video. I'm going to finish this bed off organically for next year and I'm already planning on planting garlic beans and maybe a tomato plant or two in this area. I've been growing peppers in here but they keep getting the same disease so it's time to rotate those plants out of here and try something different. So today I'm going to add in uh, garden lime, blood meal, and bone meal and I want to just talk to you about how you do that. For fertilizers in general I've been using less than is recommended and that's what I, re I recommend to you. If you can use compost, great, use compost or mix it in there. But if you have to use fertilizers, you don't have to use as much as they say. So for this bed, it's six feet by four feet, 24 square feet. So for the blood mill, what it recommends is one cup per 20 square feet. So I'm using three quarters of a cup. For the bone meal, it recommends using um, one cup per 30 square feet. So I'm using a full cup, which is less than what it's telling you to do and then the garden lime in the back that's to add calcium to the garden because I'm going to put in tomato plants and calcium is really good to add to your garden to help prevent blossom end rot and I get that pretty regularly in my area. The garden lime <coughs> excuse me, says somewhere between 3.5 pounds to 5 pounds per 100 square feet so doing a little bit of math I just put in one cup of limestone and this is how I really pretty much set it up in here already is one cup of the garden lime and then I have one cup of bone meal and three quarters cup of the blood meal. That's all just going to get mixed into here. If you want to wear gloves, certainly wear gloves, but this isn't really going to hurt you. So just mix this all up. Try not to spill it like I am. And then this will get evenly scattered across the whole bed right now. And you can see that I need to add more soil to this because I want to bring it up to the full uh, top of the wood frame. Because I've added in potassium from the wood ash and because I'm adding in lime, that is alkaline. That can raise the pH. I'm not using as much as you really need to change the pH, but I'm going to add in peat moss, which is acidic. So putting in, I don't know, four to six shovelfuls of peat moss will help neutralize the alkaline uh, structure of the lime and the potassium. That's going to keep my pH in a range that's great for vegetables. And over here is my old container soil. I was going to put some compost into here, but I'm just going to save the compost for next spring. So that old container soil and the peat moss that's left over is all going to go into this bed. So what I'll do is uh, going to scatter down the fertilizer turn it over, take care of that, and then I'm also going to show you how I use newspaper across the top of this to really put the bed to sleep, so to speak, for the fall. This way no weeds grow and come spring you can just go ahead, turn your soil over, and you can start your planting. So the measured amounts of blood meal, garden lime, and bone meal were uh, mixed together in a bowl and then spread evenly throughout this bed. And you can see back there, that's the blood meal, lime, bone meal spread out and just evenly spread it throughout. Then I added in some shovelfuls of the peat moss and then I just turned all of that over. So what I'm going to do is turn the rest of it over, um, add in some of the container soil and then I'm going to put down the newspaper and on top of that more soil and that will really, like I said, put the bed to sleep. Weeds won't grow over the winter. Three months time while, you know, uh, December, January, February come through that newspaper, newspaper will break down and when you turn it over, it'll just mix into your soil. So here's my four by six foot bed, put to sleep so to speak, for, spa, uh, yeah, for fall and winter. Two layers of newspaper, about an inch or so of soil on top, that will keep the newspaper nice and tight on the bed, that'll stop weeds from forming. Today wasn't too windy so I could put dry newspaper down if it's a little bit of a windy day. Once you put the newspaper down, wet it, that will keep it from blowing away. But that will sit fine for the next three months. Come spring, I'll just turn it over, turn the newspaper into the bed, and I'll be able to plant. 
over here I decided to go ahead and plant more garlic. I didn't get as much in that I wanted to back in October. Usually I try and get my garlic in in the beginning of October, middle of October. But I'm going to do another video and just show you how to plant garlic. You know, a little bit late, but garlic you want to put in in the fall, let it over winter, and come spring you'll see your garlic sprout up and sometime towards the end of June you'll have garlic. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.